Hello and welcome to the next video in our series uh, of our EV conversion for our series. Uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at stripping down the, the, Leaf, the Nissan LEAF battery pack uh, and getting the modules and everything out that we need. Uh, before we get into that, if you haven't seen the rest of the videos in our playlist, click the link below. Um, and also whilst you're there, click the subscribe button as well. So visually, flipping those packs over like that um, has worked brilliantly. Um, obviously I've yet to bolt them up, but I'm thinking that's going to work really well. So if it's not um, too obvious, I've got two packs there, four there, and then they're too deep. So in the in the leaf box or in the leaf battery pack these four were around here so all I've done is there was a buzz bar going from here to there which which came this way because they were over here I've disconnected that and I've literally just spun it round like that which means I retain all of this wiring and I don't have to change anything. The only thing that I need to change is the buzz bar that go that went from here to here, which is now that terminal. So when they're assembled, I need a buzz bar that goes from that terminal to that terminal. I've done the same on the other pack, giving me two packs that I'll be able to package a lot easier, um, leaving me half of the batteries to assemble somewhere else. Got the rearmost battery pack uh, out uh, of the battery box, which is down there. So I've got that up on the bench um, with all the additional bits and bobs. Now it'd be nice to take this uh, as one grouping because that's mounted, drop it straight in a box. Uh, and leave it as it is but unfortunately given the size of it I'm not going to be able to do that so hopefully what we're thinking is if we can split that into two packs uh, it'll make it a lot easier to package so let's start taking it to pieces so with the other packs separated now into usable sort of packs or assemblies uh, ready to go in boxes I'm going to tack this, split this rear pack down, um, which will give me two small packs about that big. Uh, and, and then sticking them in places is going to be a lot easier than, than, than this massive one. It's about a metre long, so trying to stick that anywhere uh, on its own would be tough to do it discreetly um, in such a small chassis. I think if you've got uh, maybe a 109 or a 107 or even a 110, uh, 110, sorry. Uh, one out of ten. Um, then getting that assembly in probably would be a bit easier, um, which would make life a lot easier because you literally just take it out of the pack and put it where you want. You haven't got to mess around doing the stuff that I'm going to be doing now. So I've got to. This rearmost pack is uh, is assembled slightly different to the other packs. So it's got two of these big plates either end, like that, 
and then it's got threaded bar running through the holes in the four corners that ties it all in and then sandwiches it. But then it's also got these across the front and the back, the bolt that way as well. So um, a lot of fixings actually on this one compared to the others. Um, and then obviously we've got the buzz bars at the front. So I'm gonna disassemble this bracket work on the front and the back. Um, and then that'll let me get to the buzz bars a bit easier. And then I suppose uh, I'm gonna be pulling out some threaded bars, separating the whole lot and then trying to reassemble it. fastens off there, which are these, which are holding in these, which is all sort of pressed steel, just sort of bracket work, it's not particularly heavy um, stuff, but it does tie all the batteries in together, um, so try and lose it, um, I'm alright working with that stuff with all my, without all my safety gear and my gloves and stuff because I'm not working on anything under the uh, under this white plastic cover that's in the orange which is where the high voltage stuff is this is just the body of the batteries um, obviously there's no voltage there so I've got those bits off the front and get the bits off the back as well and uh, keep going Okay, so that's all the bracket work either end, top and bottom I suppose. So we've just got these sandwich plates on the side with the thread bar um, that goes down each corner. Got a bit of wiring on the back of it and you can see here that there's this uh, bit of wiring here which I'm guessing is a temp sensor of some variety. Um, that just monitors the batteries. So uh, I've just got to be careful of that. I'm going to whip out these four bolts, I think. Leave this side for a minute. And, um, you know. Okay, so the only buzz bar that's, that's keeping the two groups of 12 that I want to separate uh, is that one just there. So I'm just going to undo that, which is great because then the, the, two, the two packs of 12 will separate. The only problem we've got is there's uh, a bunch of the uh, sensor wiring and stuff, which, is the, which are the purple and black wires. That, that goes um, to both packs, which means uh, I'm going to have to figure out something with that, what that is yet, I'm not really sure. These are separate now, essentially, apart from the plastics uh, and the low voltage sensor wires, um, and they all congregate there, collect around, and then go to that control pack on this side, um, which is great, but it's, it's stopping me from separating this now. So I don't really know how best to overcome that at this stage. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. Um, so that I can completely separate these um, but still have everything wired up as it should be. My favourite bit.
So there you go, you can see I've separated my two 12 packs like that. Uh, and I've got the threaded bar thing hanging out at the end there, which I'll swap out for eight more mil threaded bars on that. Uh, our other packs, the problem I've got is still that, uh, that wiring on the front there, so I've got to decide what I'm going to do with that. I'm thinking that I'll obviously have to disconnect it from this bank of 12 now, um, and then when we come to pack the battery separately, I'll have to extend that low, low uh, voltage wiring. Uh, to reach wherever this second pack goes. It'd be cool if we could get them next to each other in the engine bay, but I'm not sure if that'll happen, or maybe even at the back of the chassis. So at this point, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, I'm going to get a tape measure, decide where they're going to go, and then see if I can move them around. So after a bit of a, a measure up and a think, I've decided obviously we've got two packs here in addition to the other two packs. The other two packs are going to go under the driver's seat uh, where the fuel tank originally was and then the other one's going to go under the passenger seat. These two are going to have to go either end of the car because we haven't got enough room to keep them together and put them in the front or keep them together and put them in the back. There's just not enough room. <laughs> so, I'm going to take this half and put it in front of the motor, and I'm going to take this half and put it in the back of the chassis. Now all I'm left with is the relays and then these uh, plugs and sockets. Obviously there's the wiring um, within the battery tray as well, or this battery box um, that I can take, take out now. Um, so I've just got to unbolt this and this and then we've got an empty empty battery box just disassembling the relay block and plugs and stuff out of uh, what's left of the battery box and and uh, I've just come to pull it out and I've got these bits here basically I can't pull it out without disassembling everything entirely which I don't really want to do just in case um, I don't remember where everything goes back together and Keeping it all in one block like that just makes life a lot easier down the line uh, for reassembly. So what I'm going to do, since as this is now scrap and we've no use for it, is I'm just going to cut the box there and there and it'll allow me to take this whole thing out in one go um, and keep it undisturbed. So let's grab that grinder. Alright, so I've got an idea now of what I'm doing with all these batteries. Uh, where I'm going to put them. Now I need to get them in boxes that are going to protect them, keep them dry, keep them safe because obviously we've got a lot of voltage there. So I'm going to get on the computer, start drawing up some, some boxes, get the, the panels and stuff laser cut out of 3mm aluminium and then TIG weld them all together. I'll be able to drop the battery packs in, seal them up nice and tight um, and then that gives me something to mount in the car. Just go. This way. 